Hey chickies, today we have a haul and it is from Shop Miss A. Everything is super affordable, $1, $1.50. I think some of the things are like $5, but still very affordable. We're going to unbag this together. Just really excited to finally share a haul with you. In case you're new here, I'm Christine and this channel is dedicated to all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs. If that's something that might interest you, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would please subscribe. All right, let's just get right into this and open it. I will link everything down below. Shop Miss A is very good about packaging. One time there were items that were broken, however they did replace it. Everything is packaged in this bubble wrap, which I really do appreciate. Just don't mind the nails. It was either do the hair or the nails and I would rather do the hair instead. In no particular order, just grabbing whatever we see here first. We have the AOA Studio 3D Foam Ink Lashes and this one is in the style Shelby. Their lashes are really inexpensive um, and it's only $1.55. The AOA Studio lashes, but in the style Christine. These are my favorite because if you don't wanna wear a liner, you can get it really close to the lash line and they just give your eyes like that little something extra. So these are my absolute, absolute favorite from Shop Miss A. Did end up getting two pairs of them because that's just how much I love them. Comfortable band very lightweight telling you grab a pair of their lashes we grabbed three of them also in the style christine now these are the deluxe curl giving back premium foaming lashes diane these are more on the natural side probably wear these on a day when i'm going to the gym if I don't want to wear mascara. Super Soft Paw Paw Wonder Blender. It's a latex-free sponge, which is one of my favorites from them. I love their minis, especially their regular sponges. Really inexpensive, very squishy. It's not super dense. We have another pair of the AOA Studio Christine Lashes. I think you can tell I'm obsessed with these, not just because we're twinning with the name, but in general, I love the style and the way how they look on the eyes. This is actually for April, collapsible dog bowl, which I think will be perfect for her today. It's not pink, it's purple. Mochi Peach Blender, wide and plump for even more flawless coverage. And we will be trying out a lot of these products in the next upload or the upload after that because I wanted to try them out with you firsthand and see what look we can create because it's been a while since we've done like a get ready with me or just like trying new makeup. I love the name Mochi, right? Squishy. Can never have enough sponges. The reusable eye makeup guard guide. It's really flexible, it's silicone. So if you get mascara right underneath the eye area, hopefully this will catch it. And I like how it's silicone, so it's gonna be easy to wash. The AOA Cosmic Cowgirl Skin Grip Primer. Was really curious about this because I love primers. Uh, it's a, supposed to be a weightless gripping primer for lasting makeup, which um, we're gonna try out in the next video. Let me just dump everything out. I did end up getting another one of the Super Soft Paw Paw Wonder Blenders. Dang, another one of the 3D Foaming Premium Natural Lashes in the style Christine. I guess I stocked up on those. <laughs> The AOA I Love Do, I guess it's um, a lip oil. Did end up getting three shades of these. They look very interesting. We will try them out in the next video. Saw this on their website. Maybe this is a new product or maybe I just never noticed it. It's the AOA Studio Shade Adjusting Drop. So I did get white as well as the blue. You can mix this into your foundation. Say if it's too dark for you right now, I'm definitely like in between, I'm a medium. So these will be interesting. <laughs> April. <laughs> so these will be interesting to mix into the foundations for the next video. Speaking of foundations, did want to try out a 2 Lab Soft Matte Foundation for flawlessly filtered skin. It's supposed to be lightweight, breathable foundation that smooths the skin, soft matte finish, sensory friendly, 
and it's supposed to be for all skin types. I wasn't really sure about which shade to go with. That's why I also ended up getting these um, color mixing drops. So we have here two shades, M3 and we also have T1. Two concealers, the Locked Creamy Concealer. These were only $1.88. They had pretty good reviews on the website, so we will try these out. I'm gonna put the shades somewhere here on the screen so we will be trying these out we also got the velvet puffs for seamless baking setting and more and i've been out of puffs i had to toss some of them out because they were just really old 570 so it comes with six of them just the triangle puff pads and these are great for like right underneath the eye area chisel out the cheeks a little bit aoa polis a sweet milk lip balm and it looks like a milk carton right it's very cute and it is a lip balm it smells like strawberries i think i'm gonna throw this into my bag for april it was a dollar 55 they're just poop bags girl needs her poop bags um so I decided to pick these up and look, there are little paw prints on it. Stainless steel mixing palette set. Travel mini mixing palette plus a spatula. Let's open this. This spatula. Nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen people on Instagram, Reels, TikTok, you know, just kind of swiping skincare, foundation on their face and then blending it out. And then we have the mixing palette. Oh, I like that. And look how thin it is. I mean, it's convenient to just put into your kit in your travel makeup bag and then lastly i don't even know what is in here these are the aoa satin drops foundation i guess i've just been wanting to try some foundations <laughs> shade m3 and then we have shade m2 please let me know which foundation you would like to see a review on like just like a dedicated review the soft matte foundation or the aoa satin drops please let me know in the comments a blush and highlighter duo fly with me duo blush plus highlighter the shade is called flutter very pretty evolve packaging is very spring right who else is ready for spring girl i am there silk wings and then lastly, Nectar. That's everything I hauled from Shop Miss A. Make sure you stay tuned for a try on and we'll do a dedicated foundation review on these foundations but we will be trying it out in the next video or the next two videos or so please let me know your thoughts on the items i picked up from shop miss a i'll make sure to link everything down below if you have any suggestions on things i should check out on their website please let me know as well because they have so many things on there that sometimes you can get kind of lost as always thank you so much for joining me today if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be a part of the chicky crew thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.